when I switch to pro mileage, in my case, I got 46, 47 percent of savings oh, for that time. Pro mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn up. Less. Okay guys, so today is a rather busy day for me. Same time, this car badly, badly needs a wash. So now I am at Pavilion Bukit Jalil. Uh, car is all yours. So drive safe. Car is on its way. Time for me to go and attend the event. Hi guys, so today I am at Pavilion Bukit Jalil. Uh, here to at the launch of the Mitsubishi Triton Phantom Plus Edition. All right, so they are making only 1,000 units of these, okay? And uh, it's based on the Triton Premium Automatic Model. So the Triton Premium Automatic Model is priced at 126,900. This guy here is priced at 137,600. So it's an 11,000 ringgit price gap. Above it, there's also the Triton Athlete Model. That's a higher spec variant than this. So basically, you can think of this as a dressed up version of the premium model. Now, what do you get with 11,000 ringgit? So you get, of course, a more macho appearance. These wheels, these all blacked out wheels. Okay, you got this uh, additional body kit elements here at the side. This is added on. Okay, the side step is finished all black. Okay, you got the, uh, the, the, rear, the, the cargo bed bar is also finished black. All these additional body elements here at the side. At the back here, the tailgate has this, uh, this is added on, this is stick on. Okay, this whole piece, this whole one piece is stick on with this uh, 3D phantom wording here, given a two-tone appearance, okay, black, a gray on black. Okay, the tailgate itself is uh, mechanically enhanced with one touch, one with easy lift, all right? so. With just one hand and minimal strength, you can open and close the tailgate. Of course, the lower bumper is also cosmetically enhanced, gloss black finish with these three red strips here at the side. Okay, now we come to the biggest talking point of this Phantom Plus Edition. So, the headlights of the Triton Premium model is halogen, okay? This is the, the halogen projector main beam, high beam. Up there, they've added these two. At first, I was wondering, hey, legal, not one, ah. Okay? And uh, it is. So how Mitsubishi has gotten that to work is that this, these are LED illuminations, okay? And the activation circuits is tied in to the high beam. So in order to, for, it, for this to be road legal, right? To be JPJ compliant, for JPJ to approve this, Mitsubishi has had to route the the activation circuits of this through the high beam so to activate the headlight okay so you have keyless entry here to activate the headlight first you have to press this button to enable okay enable the the this this light here and then in order to illuminate the light you activate the high beam so you see the high beam is switched on okay that that allows you to that is how you activate this light so if you press this button once again to switch it off when you flash your headlights nothing happens you press this to switch it on this light comes on when you flash your high beams okay so other enhancements here include well the special phantom plus mats okay made specifically for this car uh you've got a dash cam up there and you've got this uh touch screen okay full size touch screen and they've specially made this mold this uh, this mold this housing they've specially molded this housing uh raise it slightly okay uh to pro presumably fit the larger screen okay here okay you can see lah this one is, is, is it does not sit flush with the dashboard it's quite obviously added on enhanced but it's here nonetheless so uh we shall explore the features a bit so you got basic lah radio bluetooth android auto apple carplay uh set up here okay and uh of course there's this the seats here 
have this special pattern this is a leatherette seat okay with this phantom plus wording heat stitching here all right and uh, the seat itself has this red contrast stitching against the black seat material all right so just to bring you guys to the back the rear seats okay rear air con uh, sorry rear cup holders molded on cup holders with this stitches here okay and uh so here this is a, a tray here with two usb ports so basically you can just rest your phone here and charge them off the usb port here okay up here of course this is i think one of the best selling points of the triton's cabin these rear air con blowers okay so how it works is there's a vent here there's a fan unit inside here that sucks in cold air from the front and redistributes it through these two vents here very clever they don't have to put in an additional cooling element here just redistribute the air more effectively so here you can see uh yeah on off and adjust the blower speed here all right show you again the special mats okay for this phantom plus edition all right so guys this is the triton phantom plus and let me just bring you guys around the event space to show you uh, what mitsubishi has set up here so this is another display unit and the concept of this event of course is to showcase the lifestyle aspect of the triton so here you have this uh traveler brand where they have you know all these wow this is cool man you know at evo club car wash we have specialized uh, boxes to keep the things that we take out from our customers cars maybe i want to get one of these looks so cool okay and uh check out these tents they've got all these tents here on display all these camping accessories so if you guys are fans of camping accessories you can come check these out all right and over here this is the this is the triton athlete model as i mentioned earlier now you can see uh compared to the the phantom plus model the triton athlete has led headlights okay so the lighting unit is slightly different okay now this one is also another showcase of camping accessory now this is cool this is cool look at this this is from thula so you can set up a bed over at the over the top of the car and you got this ladder here to climb up this is awesome this is so awesome okay so you have all the cooler uh bags and camping accessories here he even got stroller guys oh wow, look at this how much this for a stroller four thousand six hundred Woo! all right so another display unit here of the triton phantom plus and over here more camping accessories on display wow this looks cool man display by lubar camp awesome stuff this actually makes camping looks properly cool top drawer stuff so another display unit of the phantom plus here and this is well another display of camping gear by black cam malaysia over oh, here's the food f and b area hey so more uh, seated areas here for you know the guests of the event to sit down here and well have their lunch or coffee or tea time okay. all right okay guys so here you have it uh today this is the launch of the new triton phantom plus edition um now as i've said before in the pickup truck market right if you were to ask me uh what pickup truck should you buy for rough use as a workhorse you can't get away from the tri the, the Hilux or the D-Max as your safest possible bets. But if you want a pickup truck in which you can enjoy 
almost car-like driving dynamics. The Triton is the one that comes closest to a car in terms of handling, comfort, and refinement, in my opinion. Okay, uh, because quite frankly speaking, when it comes to taking the highways, when it comes to go to driving, you know, uh, winding roads, you know, the Ulu Yams, the Guntings, nothing gives me the kind of confidence at high speed like a Triton. Events done, and uh, and it just so happens, fortuitously, the car is here already. Okay, bro, done, huh? Done, ready. Okay, thank you. Very much. Thank you. Okay. Yep. So that's it. Cars back to me now. I'm ready to move on to my next meeting.